in its broadest sense, a uh, food additive is any substance added to food. Food additives are added with a specific objective to influence the change of food characteristics. These uh, might have a direct or intentional and indirect or unintentional impact on the food. Food additives with direct impact are uh, those additives that are added to the food for a specific purpose. For example, the additive sunset yellow, which is used in sweets, in drinks, ice creams, or even in other foods, uh, preserve and enhances the quality of the product. Most direct uh, additives are identified on the food label. So the consumers knows that these additives are added to the food. And the other group is indirectly impacted food additives. Here are those substances or additives that become part of the food in trace amounts. These additives are part of the food due to the transfer of chemicals from the packaging materials or uh, during the storage or from any other treatment. For example, let's talk about packaging materials that uh, are used uh, to package the products. These materials uh, that came in contact with the food uh, must first prove that they are safe to use. The substances in packaging material can be absorbed by the food and uh, they became uh, as food additives for those foods. The function or the benefits of using food additives in food products are many since the addition of additives uh, becomes intentional even the consequences on product quality might be beneficial. The main benefits of using uh, food additives are for safer and nourishing food supply, are for a greater variety of food products and for a cheaper food supply. Let's have a look at some of the major additives function. Improvement of the consistency of the product. These happen through emulsifiers, stabilizers and thickeners that give to the food the quality and the consistency that consumers expect. Some of the emulsifiers that uh, we can mention are alginates, lecithin, pectin, diglycerides, etc. They are used in food industry like in salad dressing, uh, in ice creams, processed cheese or in chocolates, etc. Improvement of uh, nutritional values. Additives helps to improve and to especially maintain nutritional values. Vitamins, minerals and fibers are added to food products to supplement deficiencies in a person's diet due to the loss of some of them during uh, the processing or to enhance the nutritional qualities of product or of the food. Uh, when we talk about processing of the food, we mean uh, severe processing or severe treatments that uh, the loss of vitamins and minerals or fibers might happen. This is the reason that the producers, these components, might add to the food uh, for having a final product with uh, high nutritional value and uh, with a high quality. Controls acidity and alkalinity and preserves it by fermentation. There are some additives that help to control the acidity and the alkalinity of foods, while uh, other ingredients help to maintain the taste of foods with low fat or sugar content. Prolong uh, the shelf life. Uh, these happen through the use of some additives or preservatives that uh, with their effect they prolong the shelf life of food products. 
preserves and emphasize the aroma and color. Well, spices, natural and artificial flavors and sweeteners are added to enhance the taste of the food, uh, food colorants, preserve or enhance the appearance. Some preservatives that may slow down the spoilage of the product caused by moulds, bacteria or fungi. They can also maintain the quality of the food, helping to control contaminants that can cause foodborne illness, but they can also prevent the brown color of some fruits, for example when they are cut into slices like in apple or peas, and when they are exposed to air, mm -hmm. happen these uh, passing to the brown color. And the last function that uh, we can mention about uh, adding or using food additives is the improvement of the taste and appearance of food, of food product uh, during the processing. Another uh, factor or another function that is uh, been discussing or studying is low price foods. There have been uh, some recent studies which have shown that additives reduce the overall price of foods. It was found that uh, for at least some processed foods total removal of additives like uh, consumers want would result in higher prices. These studies uh, were based on the premise that the consumer would still want the same type of food in the absence of additives. Well, as I have mentioned earlier, before using additives it is important to do toxicological and technological tasting. The addition of food additives cannot allow the degrees of nutritional values of the food. Well, the numbers of additives approved and used in, food, in the food industry has increased greatly. But how can people understand uh, that these additives are used in a specific product? How can we know which additives are used um, on the product that we are eating? For this reason, um, some regulators the regulators that uh, works with improvement of uh, these additives uh, mentioned that it uh, was uh, important to codificate these additives in order to, to be more easily to identify them. So, in Europe there are about 297 additives that has, have been approved for use in food industry. Uh, to regulate these additives and inform consumers, each additive is assigned with a unique number termed as E number, which is used in Europe for all approved additives. Each additive is assigned with a letter E, which is the prefix stand for Europe, and the unique number, which is used for all the approved additives. This numbering sense uh, scam. Uh, has now been adopted and extended by the Codex Alimentarius Commission to internationally identify all additives, regardless of whether they are approved for use. But uh, the prefix E is available only for European countries, but for the countries outside European is uh, used only the number whether the additive is approved in Europe or not. For example, if one additive is written with a code E202 on products sold in Europe, uh, but is simply known as additive 202 in uh, other countries outside Europe. There are some additives uh, which they are used in Europe is not approved, so it does not have an E number, although the, it is, uh, these additives might be approved for use in other countries. And uh, um, 
these additives are not allowed to pass through the countries of Europe because uh, the approvement of these additives is not allowed. Well, as we said, uh, for all the food additives that are approved to be used, in, especially in the European Union, countries uh, are codified with E-numbers. These codes of E-numbers are divided into seven classes, which um, are for specific categories of food additives. For example, the code between E100 till E199 is for color additives. Uh, the code from uh, E200 till E299 is for preservatives and so on as you can see on the screen for all the additives that are used uh, in food industry. This uh, classification uh, with E numbers is just, is just for the countries within the uh, European Union but if we talk about uh, outside countries of uh, European Union is the same codification but without the prefix E. So if we talk about color additives, in European countries the code is between E100 till E199 but if we talk about uh, the countries outside European Union uh, this codification must be 100 to 199. This is the uh, and so on for all the uh, food additives that are uh, approved to be used in all the countries.